When I think about patient safety in, in the United States, I, it is one of the biggest leadership failures out there. When bad things happen, you really need to have that leadership endorsement, leadership courage to say, okay, let's understand what happened here. And the other part about it is that you have to go to your real, true, ethical, and moral core that says, well, I have to do the right thing. And I believe my organization, my peers, my colleagues want to do the right thing. Our senior leadership and our risk management leadership, we meet, we review cases, we talk about what we did and did not do right with that case. I think it's changed the dynamic of, of the whole team as far as being courtroom driven versus conversation driven. And so it, it's all about the talk, it's all about the conversation and allowing people to have conversation with individuals that represent the organization that are thoughtful, really good people and also empowered to make the right decisions. If, if that's what we should be doing, they really are superb. When you're that honest and you're that transparent and, and you think about doing what's right, not everybody's gonna be proud of you. You subject yourself to criticism. You subject yourself in today's social media world to thousands of posts. You gotta suit up for that every day. You have to, you know, not overreact, not panic not do what you might want to in that situation. You have to seek to understand quickly. And the more you understand and the more transparent you are, the more time you'll be given by the family and the patient to solve the problem, to resolve the issue, to engage them in the solution, and to actually make it better for the next person.